Funny story. Last night, I'm walking down the hall, closing up, and suddenly I find myself flying through the air upside down. Seems I stepped on a skateboard. So I'm laying there on my back, losing all feeling in my legs, and I do a little soul searching. Ray, I'm so sorry. You know, maybe new wife Cindy is right. We could move to Fiji and snorkel until we die of old age or get eaten by sharks. That's so romantic. <laughs> Except where you are torn apart by sharks. That would make me so sad. You know, back in the day, I could be laying prone in that hallway, semi-conscious, numb from the neck down, and consider it a good day. You took Rufino's offer. I was going to. But when I called the broker, he told me I got a second offer. Oh. Yeah, but it sounds hanky. Guy wants to remain anonymous, you know, be a silent partner. Probably some weirdo. But whoever it is has got their money in escrow. Oh, wait, so, wait. A partner with money? Uh, you could keep hit streak. That sounds great. Me with a partner? Come on. Even if it means saving the studio? Isabel, I'm a lone wolf. Wolves are pack animals. Why are you making this so hard? That the studio is hemorrhaging cash. Taking on a partner would just be delaying the inevitable. I think you are making a big mistake. No, no. A big mistake would be telling Cindy we're not moving to Fiji. She's already purchased tropical resort wear for the dogs. See, with the second offer, we can jack Rafino's bid Where do you have to decide? Why don't you close the door? Once the offer goes up, it's not like I can say no. We, we'd have to be out of here in a couple of weeks. <laughs>